Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another interview series. My name is Meher from Newfoundland and Labrador. And today I have the privilege to interview David from Washington State. Hi, David. How are you doing? Great. And uh, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you for being here. So David Alto is a LinkedIn profile makeover, social media content creator, job coach, resume, bot at ATS Killer, which, going to, which we are going to talk about it later, and social media specialist. But David also was a job seeker in previously, and then he kind of cracked the code, and now he's going to give us great tips. So David, my first question for you is, in terms of LinkedIn, we know that as a hiring manager yourself previously, or me as a recruiter, we directly go to LinkedIn to see the candidate, to have more feeling about it, who this person is, their values, their content. In that sense, what tips you have for job seekers who are not used to using LinkedIn or they are international students or new immigrants and they don't know how to engage or use LinkedIn? Yeah, no, that's a, that's a, that's an amazing uh, question because people sometimes think, well, I have my picture, I have what I do, that's enough. Mm -hmm. Mm, Maybe not really. Uh, So look, you're totally right. Even if they have your resume or you've applied or they find, or, you know, they're going to go to your LinkedIn yes. profile to, to hope to learn more. So what is that more? Obviously, well, you know, the banner should be related to um, industry or maybe those high level skills. If you work at Amazon and having a banner that says Amazon still doesn't do any, doesn't tell me what you do. If you're yeah. a project manager, maybe you mentioned something about that. Obviously, your profile photo, um, you know, just professional, uh, professional headshot there. Yeah. The headline, a lot of people put project manager at Amazon, and that's it. That still doesn't tell oh, me enough. Yeah. Yes, you know, um, you know, and put those high level, uh, you know, put those high level skills. Uh, you could take advantage of the 10 second audio recording on the LinkedIn mobile app yeah. to make you different. So all of these things, when that recruiter is looking at, 10 or 15 or 20 different profiles, all these things are going to make your profile stand out. And that's obviously uh, what we attempt to, you know, what we want you to do. Um, And, you know, do you think that that there's what's in the resume, same as on LinkedIn or just like achievements more? Sure. So I, t- I I personally think that you should have the same content on your resume as on your LinkedIn for mm-hmm. two reasons. One, if I have your resume and I'm a recruiter and then I go to your LinkedIn, if the content is different, which one's more accurate? And if I have to guess, guess what? I'm moving on to somebody else. Uh, and if I find somebody on, if somebody finds you on LinkedIn, by having the same content, you're really providing your resume there uh, without uploading it, but having all that content in there. And then of course, oh, go ahead, sorry. No, no, go ahead. So, and then of course, to make yourself stand out, you have to add an about section. Yes. And you know, what I always, the approach that I take with my clients is, think of the things that you solve at work, okay? And then re-engineer that into a question, maybe starting off in your about section, do your teams or departments struggle with this implementing why? And then give an example of something that you implemented or changed. People go to your profile to learn more when you're providing what you solve and how you solve it. Normally, they would never get that information unless they got you on the phone. So now you're really... uh, just is separating yourself from the rest of the applicants. Yeah, I believe those are great tips from the top till bottom, making sure that you're making all that check marks and LinkedIn will tell you that you still need to fill this part once you're completed. I believe that's a good way to start networking and making you and making yourself shine in your job search. Uh, so for the audience watching or listening for the first time, I'm going to ask David a couple of questions and I'm going to post them on a daily basis. So you're going to be with us kind of a journey 
you can like all the videos, make comments. So whatever you like, we're here to help you. So tune in next time for another great question with David. Thank you.